who have not seen those videos, please go and watch it. In this final video, we are going to discuss with one important uh, topic related to the structured design strategies. Okay. In this, we have one important uh, concept to be discussed in order to reduce the IC complexity. Okay. During the system level design. So that we will discuss in this video now. So one of the main goals of the need made and convey approach. So these two are the scientists to approach the VLSI design was to empower system designers to implement high performance systems directly in silicon. Okay. So to achieve this, it is, it is essential to reduce the complexity of this IC and system level design. So this is especially important because expert industrial teams require man years to uh, complete the chip designs expecting novice or academic uh, teams to match this effort without simplification is unrealistic. Okay. Adapting software design methods. The field of software engineering has developed effective strategies for managing large, complex, large and complex systems. Okay. So these uh, large and complex systems would be having a lot of problems with related to the chip designs. Okay. So the chip designs won't be the same for uh, each IC chip. It would be varying for different, different uh, ICs. So while the variation takes place, the structural design also would be very, very essential. Okay. So in order to maintain those structured design strategies, in order to reduce the complexity between the ICs, they have adopted some important approaches. Okay. So one by one, those, let us discuss those approaches. So for the first approach is hierarchy. Okay. This is the first approach hierarchy. Hierarchy is a fundamental strategy used in the structure part of the VLSI design. It involves dividing a complex module into sub modules. Okay. So this is one part that is it divides a complex complexity part is divided into different categories in order to fit into a chip IC. Repeating this subdivision recursively until each sub module is simple enough. Okay. So this sub modules are again splitted into their sub modules and they are splitted till then till that point when each sub model would be very simple enough to be adapted. Okay. So like that way the, the division would be taking place. This strategy is similar to practices in software design where large programs are decomposed into their smaller components. Okay. So this is one uh, practical example they have taken. That is if we have one complex one code or program to be executed, what you do is you, you do the step by step execution. Okay. Each step one by one you do it. So similar way the hierarchy of this chip IC design also works. Eventually yielding simple subroutines with well defined functions and interfaces. Okay. So you see here the parallel hierarchy in the VLSI uh, domains. So recall the VLSI design that can be described in three main domains. So the main domains under VLSI are behavioral, structural and physical. All these three we have seen. Under behavioral part we have seen the uh, uh, behavioral description of the CMOS VLSI design. Structural part we have seen and the physical part that is the layout part. Okay. Everything we have seen. This hierarchy can be applied in parallel with each domain. That is under behavioral domain we have an adder may be represented by a subroutine by describing its operation. Then under structural domain, a gate level connection diagram specifies how it is built logically. Then under physical domain, a layout section describes its physical structure. Okay. Consistency across all these domains. As larger structures are built from the smaller ones, example combining multiple adders to build one uh, circuit here. For example, you could be taking this, the which you have discussed in our earlier, earlier videos that is for uh, SR latch flip flops. What we have taken is we have taken small, small two input NAND gates or NOR gates and they have, we have used them to build the complete circuit of the SR flip flop. Okay. So that, that is the meaning of this sentence. This hierarchical approach can be extended in all these three domains. Okay. Throughout this process. So this is all about the hierarchy. So the next one is modularity. Modularity is a key principle in structured VLSI design. It complements the hierarchy by dividing the system into a set of sub modules where they are easier to understand, manage and implement. Okay. It is the key principle where it is the complement of hierarchy only. It, 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 it uh, uh, supports or it approaches towards the hierarchy approach only. That is uh, it follows the hierarchy approach by dividing the system into different sub modules. But uh, the sub modules are divided in such a way that they are easier to understand, manage and implement. Okay. Characteristics of a well formed module. The concept of a well-formed module varies, but we can borrow principles from the structured software design. A well-formed module should have a well-defined interface. Uh, a well-defined interface means in software, this is an argument with list with types. 
uh, interfacing should be of the position and name of external conditions, layer type and size, signal type. So this is the complete defining of the interfacing which is taking place within the design part. Then we should be having a clearly defined function. Uh, modularity benefits the both designer and the design system by clarifying and documenting the design strategy, enabling automated checking, supporting team-based design. Okay, so this comes under the clearly defined function based on the modularity. Next, we have one more type that is regularity. This is the third type of approach. Under regularity, it is an another key principle in structured VLSI design. It refers to the repeated use of uniform structure to simplify the design, verification and manufacturing process. In regularity, there is a, it is not same as the uh, hierarchy and uh, modularity. In case of regularity, it refers to the repeated use of the uniform structure. So one structure is repeated to simplify the design. Okay, The structure which is repeated is called as regularity in order to simplify the design. For example, iterative arrays. The formation of arrays of identical cells such as those used in memory or arithmetic units is a basic form of regularity. It leverages repetition to reduce the complexity. Okay, So this iterative arrays, what it does is uh, due to its maximum number of repetitions taking place, it would be reducing the complexity. Okay, Regularity across design levels. Regularity can be applied at various levels in the design hierarchy. So the various design levels are one is circuit level. Under circuit level, the use of uniform transistor sizes and shape types that is uh, if you want to build any circuits one common transistor you are taking okay and the same transistor we are using without changing its width and length in the complete circuit okay so that is the uniform usage of the circuit uh, transistors in the circuit next is logic module level use of identical gate structures okay throughout the design identical gate structures means uh, to, uh, the, the gate structures which are looking similar those are used in a repeated manner next is architecture level Replication of identical processor elements or functional units in large systems. Okay. Next is data path construction. Okay. Modules may differ internally by function but share a common interface structure and that interfacing is called as construction between the data and the path. For example, power, ground, clocks, buses. Okay. So these, these things don't have their specific condition, condition but what they do is they create a data path between, between the transistor and the circuit okay so these things are the parameters under data path construction that is power ground clock and bus benefits of regularity it simplifies the design and layout improves manufacturability and yield facilitates verification and testing supports correct by construction design methodology aids formal verification methods okay so these were the things under regularity so the final type is locality under locality it is a design principle that supports modularity and hierarchy by reducing the interdependence between the module okay it is same as modularity and hierarchy that is the first two approaches but there is one change here that is it reduces the interdependence between the modules that is one module won't be dependent on any other module each module would be having their specific features and uh, it won't be getting affected in any other modules under the design part okay so under this uh, Locality, we have the encapsulation and the information hiding. Okay, then we have implications of the physical design. Physical design should avoid overlapping connections with modules internals to preserve its integrity. Okay, so the integral part of the chip would be a very, very essential. And in order to enhance that uh, integral part, the physical design also should be very, very essential and it should not be uh, in the variation mode. Okay, next, the benefits of this uh, locality it reduces global interconnections improves layout efficiency, enhances reusability and maintainability and enables the scalable and systematic VLSI design. Okay. So yeah, that's all guys. So this was one thing which I wanted to discuss. So these things uh, comes to an end of this module. So this was what I wanted to discuss under structured design strategies. Some other things are pending in this module so that if time permits, I'm going to do it. Otherwise, I'm going to skip it. Okay. So these were the important stuffs from module five, which I had, uh, which I wanted to cover. Everything is covered. Uh, so please uh, do watch these videos, do consider and uh, the notes for uh, this PDF notes will be available in the description. Go and access it and keep studying and keep supporting. Okay. Please do like, share, subscribe our channel. Keep commenting about how you understood these videos and uh, what and all are the requirements. Everything you commented down and do support us guys. Okay. Thank you.